Morgan Wallen last night on V105. It's the Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. It is also hump day, which means we're halfway through the work week. I don't know about you, but I always feel like when there's a long weekend, whether it's like, okay, you have Friday off or you have Monday off, you need an extra day to recover from the long weekend and get your life together. I probably wouldn't use the extra day to get Kenny Chesney, take her home on V105. It's your V105 buzz brought to you by East Central Energy. Homegrown, member-owned, community-focused since 1936. Today's sunny, high in the mid-60s. So over the weekend, um, it was nice and warm, not sunny the entire time. But Saturday, I got coffee with my friend, and um, I got sunburned. So, you know, be careful out there. Summer's officially here in the Northland. But I was actually at that new coffee shop in Superior. It's called Hollow Grounds Coffee. You might have read about it on B105Country.com. But they're having a big grand opening celebration this Saturday. They open at 7 a.m. It is so cute. So it's like skeleton themed. So obviously I love it. But um, it is a mobile coffee shop. And like it's in like a mini RV. I don't know the correct term to use there but um it's in the thirsty pagan parking lot and i got two different things so i went on saturday because they have been open but their big grand opening celebration is this saturday starting at seven i got a s'mores latte the first time and then when i went back on monday because it was so good i think i got like a turtle latte or something delicious they also have chai they have teas they have just a whole bunch of stuff so check them out their grand opening you don't have to wait until then though you can go this week and you can take a look at their hours all that b105country.com or your b105 app now speaking of grand openings boot barn in duluth they've also been open but they're having a big grand opening celebration this weekend in joe danger he's going to be there broadcasting live from 11 to 1 and there's going to be live music of course you can take a look at the store which i went for research of course very tough job and I bought a lot of stuff but um, he's going to be there you can go say hi to him and then also he's going to have a pair of Shenandoah tickets to give away for their show in Two Harbors coming up next month so you just have to go you can enter to win and then um, we'll announce that winner 620 the next day which is Monday so stop by that's Boot Barn broadcasting live with B105 Joe Danger will be there 11 to 1 And then you can do some shopping. A great excuse to shop. I'm going to stop by as well. So all of those stories and more, B105Country.com, your B105 app. Coming up, music from Luke Bryan, Jelly Roll, Lady Wilson, and more. Brandy Hauser on B105. It's The Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren, and we have lots of news. So Darius Rucker, he released a new memoir. It's called Life's Too Short. And while that is juicy enough, um, he also did an interview with People Magazine about the book where he's opening up about his arrest. Because remember, in February, it was revealed that he was arrested and it was just kind of like a weird situation. So apparently, he's giving more insight now. He was pulled over in February of 2023 and he says he was released without charges. Um, They did find some things in his car a little bit of marijuana and he said a little bit of something else but he said they let him go Um, but then later he learned from his friend that there was a warrant out for his arrest like his friend was like I saw you on the list of like warrants what's going on here so that's how Darius Rucker said he found out he said he was totally shocked because like nearly a year had gone by he says he's not sure what prompted the sudden warrant but he's working on it with his legal team and all that well in february of this year a year after the initial arrest he turned himself in he was charged with two counts of simple possession casual exchange of a controlled substance and a one count of a violation of tennessee's vehicle registration law because apparently the first time he was arrested he was actually pulled over for um an expired tab or registration or something like that so there's just like a lot to the story so he was taken into custody released on ten thousand five hundred dollars bond and he says that he thinks somebody just wants to make an example of him because again he was pulled over last february there were some things in his car the cop let him go and then a year later there was a arrest warrant out for him and he had to turn himself in and then he was charged so he says he's paying the price he said we'll all move on with our lives Um, But yeah, he was pulled over for expired tags and they found those things in his car, but let him go. So very odd. um, And we'll probably be learning more um, as that court case kind of plays out. But he is going to be a guest on Taste of Country Nights this Friday with Evan Paul. He's going to talk about his memoir. 
and he's going to, you know, give more details about his life that we don't really know, including details about Hootie and the Blowfish and those days and all that. So stay tuned for that this Friday, and you can read more from his interview, B105Country.com or our B105 app. But on to happier news, Midland, they are going to be at the Mystic Showroom later this year, Saturday, September 7th, 8 p.m., no opening act. Tickets go on sale this Friday, and you can get details on our concert calendar. Just go to B105Country.com. I used to love Midland, I think right when I started here, seven years ago. Um, they just blew up on the scene, and they've kind of been laying low since then. They've had a few hits. They've been on a few tours, but really excited about this. The Mystic Showroom is in Minnesota, so you can read more about that, like I said, with our concert calendar on our app, and then make sure you stay tuned for our Tim McGraw Code coming up at 820. You know, five Breakfast Club, Kim and Lauren, good morning at 7.08. We got to you at, well, 7.09, we're close enough. Okay, 7, yeah. 10, we got stuff to do. Yeah, we got a lot to do today. Okay. So I won last time we did this, and I am going to let you go first. Uh, Lauren, what did one Frenchman say to the other Frenchman? I don't, I don't speak French. I I was prepared to laugh. I didn't know where that was going. That was funny. No, that was, that was a warm-up joke. Ken, what do you call a bacon-wrapped dinosaur? Jurassic pork. I was actually thinking, you know, everything bacon-wrapped is good. That's true. That is true. If it's crispy bacon. If, if you had the chance to eat a dinosaur, would you eat a dinosaur? No. I won't even eat like a crocodile or an alligator, and that's kind of not far off. That's good. That's good. (laughs) Lauren, what did Mario say to Princess Peach when he broke up with her? He was sobbing. He said, it's not you. It's uh, me, uh, Mario. (laughs) I almost laughed. I love playing Super Mario 64. That one's probably the best. It's so good. No matter how many times you get all the stars. All right. Ken, how does a cucumber turn into a pickle? I don't know. I'm thinking it's a jarring experience, though. <laughs> and pickle jokes get I, You know, pickle jokes always get Ken. Oh, my God. The good news is, well, I don't know if it's good news, but, but. we have, like, a short week, you know, because we weren't yeah. together on Monday. Um, so you can make a comeback. Okay, Not good. too far gone. I got a new pickle game, by the way. Not a game, but I got oh. a new way to do pickles. Now I get the cloths and whole ones, and then I slice them myself because they're even crispier. Wow. Do you save money doing that? No, they oh. don't save money buying those things. like $100 a jar now. With inflation. I know. My gosh. Anyway, there you go. It's 710 Laugh Off on B105. We're going to look at, uh, oh, we got your uh, uh, brain teaser question here next, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready for that? Here we go on B105. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Good morning. It's 719, and we got your brain teacher question today. Your chance to win some Papa Murphy's. Yeah, let's go over yesterday's quick. 51% of people bring this with them to meetings to see more prepared. Oh, excuse it, me. What is it? Is it a notebook? Yeah. You know who I thought of? Yeah. Yeah. I called him out yesterday. Not me. No. No. It's the same notebook for like 20 years. But only never. writes like one letter or yeah. like a doodle. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never seen like notes being taken. No. Okay, we love you, David, if you're listening. We think you're great. So this morning's brain teaser, a new poll says this is the number one thing we do at hotels that we don't do at home. What is it? Something we do at hotels but not at home. Yeah. Yeah, I've never done this at a hotel. Never. Yeah. I don't even know. Do they still have these? Yeah, they do. They still have these there? They do. where Where are they? In the closet. Oh, I never go in there. Yeah. Well... You know, I feel like you're just more relaxed on vacation. You have more sure. time on your hands. Okay. A new poll says this is the number one thing we do at hotels, but not at home. Yep. 727-B105. Give us a shout out. Or give us a call. We'll give at you a shout out. Yeah. shout out if you want. But right. Shout out your window. Yeah. No. Uh, what do people... Yeah. You want to give it another clue? What do you think we got another Um, It's cozy. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go. 727-B105. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren, here we go. Your brain teaser question. A new poll says this is the number one thing we do at hotels that we don't do at home. What is it? We gave okay. some some good clues. I think we're good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go on the phone. Hi, B105, what do you think? Uh, iron. Um, not iron. 
All right. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, but that is in the closet. I've been ironed for a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know anyone who irons anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a good one. Thank, thank you. All right. What's your guess? Uh, is it wearing a robe? Yes. Putting on a bathrobe mm-hmm. and slippers. Do they have slippers there? Too? I've never seen slippers, never seen but I think some hotels do. I don't know. Who's this? Steph. Do you put on the robe that uh, the hotel provides you? Um, At a normal hotel, no. But when me and my husband went on our honeymoon, I did wear the robe. What, where'd, you, where'd you go on your honeymoon? We went to Belize. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. How long of a flight was that? Uh, it wasn't bad, like three and a half hours. Oh, oh that's not bad, I guess. Was it a, was it a nice hotel? Was it where did you stay? <laughs> uh, it was like a resort um, with one of those, not over the water, but like we were in like a little bungalow. Oh, neat. Well, how romantic. Lovely. And you had a nice robe. Yeah. Well, good. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we got you some Papa Murphy's. It's not nearly as extravagant as that, but, you know, it help out in a pinch. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Where are you going to go on your honeymoon? Um, I have a lot of different ideas. Hawaii. Well. Alaska. I want to go to Alaska. I know. I never get a chance. But then I'm like, should I go somewhere tropical? I don't know. I don't even have a wedding date, so. No venue or anything yet? No, it's been like two weeks. Well, so. I ain't getting on it, you know. I got to get through grandma's. Okay. Life and then home. I will plan. A wedding. I'd look up where Belize was here. Yeah, I was gonna say like, do I need to Central America? Oh yeah, well I knew that. Oh, I knew. I, I, it's been a long time. Since I'm shocked I... that it's only three and a half hours. I want to know what kind of animals there are there. <laughs> there you go with animals again, right? Okay. Well, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any bears there? No. no. Okay. I know that. Okay, your weather forecast next here on uh, B105, and uh, we'll have also have Lauren's love advice at 740. Uh-huh. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I saw this, and I just want to explain it. You know the, the phrase golden retriever boyfriend, how people say that? Actually, I haven't, but okay. Oh, okay, well, it, it, on TikTok, it's a big thing. It's like when you have a boyfriend that follows you around and just does whatever you do. Like oh. It's like Chase jokes to Kelsey Ballerini, like, Loves oh. her so much, doesn't shy away from that, you know. Okay. Well, there's something that's replacing that. Okay, well, we'll learn another term. Yeah. All right, 740 here on B105. Let's go, Lauren's love advice. Yeah, so I just want to reiterate one more time. This is a compliment. It doesn't sound like one, though, because when I first heard about this, I'm like, that's not nice. It is a compliment, okay? So this is, according to TikTok, replacing the term golden retriever boyfriend, which basically is like a boyfriend... Could be a girlfriend, too, that, like, supports you, follows you around like a golden retriever, just happy to do whatever you're doing, right? Okay, I'm sure. Yeah. So, um, the new thing that apparently you want to look for is a hot rodent boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. So... TikTok. What are you yeah, doing? TikTok is crazy. So, like, there's been posts before, like, oh, you want a man that's bear handsome, that has, like, features like a bear, like, big and birth, you know, things like that, right? Um, well, now, apparently, you want to have a rodent, handsome boyfriend. This yeah, blew up on TikTok because, you know that movie that was just out? It might actually still be out. The Challengers with Zendaya, and then it has Mike yeah, Spice yeah. and Josh O'Connor. Well, that's kind of what kicked it off because people were likening the two leading men. They're like, these men look like Stuart Little and Roddy St. James from that uh, Disney movie. <laughs> Dumbest thing ever. It is so dumb. <laughs> So, so dumb. But anyway, rodent boyfriend. The reason it got so popular, aside from TikTok, is that they even talked about this on the Today Show. So a hot rodent boyfriend is somebody who's really handsome, but not like conventionally handsome. They're fun. They're interesting. Um, they have very striking features. They're more uh, spelt than muscular. And apparently that's what you want to look for these days. Or just somebody that you find Attractive, but um, I saw this and I'm like, "What is that? That has to be a diss, but it's not. It's not at all." You know, I'll say this. Um, what's uh, what's the on, on Blue Bloods? Okay, yeah, I know it always comes back to the. What's the 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 brother the they never knew they had the young. Oh one? yeah, 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 yeah. What's his name? I know his is name, it? and it's Joe. Yeah, Joe. I thought it was yeah, Joe. In real life, it's Will. He looks like a rodent boyfriend, but he's cute. I get what you're saying. I don't think he would act like a hot rodent boyfriend because he's kind of mean <laughs> on that show, but he is a cutie. 
Well, he's got sure. a chip on his shoulder. That's yeah. for sure. Hot Why does it always boyfriend. come back to Blue Bloods? We're yeah. like the only people that watch this show. Well, your mom, other than Bobby. What's well, another one of your crushes that would be a hot rodent boyfriend? Well, Mike Spice, too, is in Challengers, where this started. He's not a celebrity crush, but I remember seeing him in West Side Story, and I was like, that's an attractive individual. <laughs> so, I get it. There you go. Hey, did anybody else have somebody who's a good example of a hot rodent boyfriend? <laughs> Give us a call if you know any... See, it something. sounds not nice, though, right? It doesn't. Yeah, like, I would cry, but... Right. 727-B105. Give us another example of a hot rodent boyfriend. Yeah, I'll think of Did not see this coming this morning. No. No, not at all. Well, you weren't here yesterday when I was, like, planning to, like, tell me don't do this, you know? So I had to kind of... <laughs> so, okay. Carrie Underwood, All-American Girl, B105. It's Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Carrie Underwood, All American Girl on B105. It is Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren, and we're just talking about hot rodent boyfriends. Mm -hmm. If you're just joining us, what the hot rodent boyfriend is, I just learned this myself. Yeah. Lauren, it's it's an attractive man that looks like a rat. That has similar characteristics like angular features, not like big, broad, and muscular. Sure. Okay. You know, um, so according to this website I'm on right now, there's like a list of more. Um, examples because, you know, Mike Feist and Josh O'Connor, who are kind of like up and comers, this is who's kind of started this whole thing. So, other examples Kieran Culkin from Succession. Oh, sure. Uh, Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. Jeremy Allen White. Don't know who that is. Really? Oh, wait. He's the one that's from uh, The Bear, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know him that well. Well, yeah. Know. He just kind of became super yeah, famous yeah. over the past few years. All of those men are not ugly. You know, so it's, it's they're they're cute. So it's not a diss, but there's some more examples for you. Let me say this. Let me flip this around. What about if you turn this around and you have like a hot road and a girlfriend? Everybody be coming at you. Um, I thought about that. You know, because you can't because you, you know now it's like, are you objectifying these men? Great, Ken. Now you're going to get me canceled. <laughs> That's not a thing. Don't worry. Not, you know, but maybe you know what I'm saying. I'm sure there'd be people that would feel that way. What about your Matthew Gray Goobler? He is, um, she just, I don't know she if just, would, She just glows up as soon as I say <laughs> that. So look, she just glows the thing up. The with Matthew Gray Goobler is, um, he is, he's handsome. I don't know if he's conventionally handsome, you know. He okay. kind of has some characteristics of a hot rodent boyfriend. <laughs> you know, he's very tall. He's not muscular. Yeah. I'm going to get in trouble with How's him. How's your fiancé feel about all this? Well, I was very upfront with him when we started dating that Matthew Gray Goobler is my celebrity crush. Like, okay. he just knew. And if you don't know who Matthew Gray Goobler is, like most people, okay. Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. My okay. my fiance's celebrity crush is Mila Kunis, which is like just I am no one can compete with that. So I'm like Matthew Gray Goobler is not you know. So it's like it's fine, but he knows. Okay, he knows what's up. Anyways, again, this isn't a diss. You called so me no your boyfriend again. I know. I'll get your you your fiance. Card. I we're gonna get a jar put together. That's how you're gonna save up for your wedding. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But anyways, it's not a diss. It's just something funny they were talking about okay. on the Today Show. Got to keep saying that because, you know, people are sensitive. I took a picture with the city of Beaver Bay Beaver. You did. And I realized that I kind of look like a beaver. <laughs> I'm furry and I got my front teeth, you know. Well, also, can you have a thing that you do where you compare people to animals all the time? You're like, oh, this person looks like an owl. This person looks like this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I find characteristics But like that's that. not a bad thing. I haven't done that in a long time. I'm trying to get over it. I mean, I don't mean it in a bad way, but, you know. Yeah, and this isn't bad either. It's Some just, people look like dinosaurs, you know. I would like an example of that. I could give you some, but okay. I'm not going to say All it right, over yeah, the don't air. say it. Okay, well, yeah. cool. There uh, you go. <laughs> Everyone well, should want a hot rodent boyfriend. <laughs> Why not? This is the dumbest thing ever. It's really dumb. Thomas Rhett right now. Brandon Gilbert and Bottoms Up on B105. It's a Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren at 7.55. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to be... Doing uh, pretty good. Uh, mm-hmm. Weather sunny, you know, mid 60s or so, a little breezy, but not bad. Yep. We'll take that today. Um, we're going to talk to uh, Animal Allies here at 810. Got some stuff going on. Oh, big weekend, too. Walk for Animals. We'll discuss that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, another flyaway code coming your way at 820. Cool. So, cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Are you making fun? Are you okay? You just made fun of me. I didn't make fun of How is that cool? I don't no, know what else you want you. me to say. I like, cool. It's great. Cool it's beans. fantastic. Cool beans. No, we don't say cool beans. I can say cool beans if I want. Okay. Good luck with that. You know, I need a lot of luck with a lot of things. Let me tell you, that's uh, that's all coming up here. B one hundred five. <laughs> 
Stars like confetti, Dustin Lynch on B105. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. Give us a good story, Lauren, to send us off into our Wednesday. Well, I have one, and this really touched at my heartstrings yesterday. I donated because I just cannot fathom this. It makes me sad as a happy ending, though. Our angel today is a U.S. Air Force veteran. His name is Dylan McCormick. And um, actually a news anchor in New Orleans where he lives was getting groceries and she noticed this frail 90-year-old man in the heat pushing carts back to the cart corral. And so she started talking to him. And um, he says that he cannot afford life right now because everything's so expensive. No kidding. His social security only covers half of what he needs. So he's like, I don't really want to be out here. You know, I'm 90, but... I just, I, it's life is too expensive. I have to work. Not only that, but he walks to work because wow. he doesn't drive. Um, and like I said, he's also an Air Force veteran. So she went on her newscast and she was like, I feel compelled to like, let's just raise like $35,000 for him so he can live out the rest of his life without having to do this, right? No kidding. Because some older people work like, you know, just for like the social aspect, but right. he's like, I actually have to. So this spread like wildfire and they quickly hit that $35,000 goal. They upped it and in 24 hours, $220,548 was raised. 220000 mm-hmm. Wow. And like Hoda Kotb donated $5,000 because she caught wind of it and a bunch of like celebrities. Well, that's um, great. Caught wind and yeah, so she says the person who organized this, she is in the process of transferring the funds to him. Um, and yeah, he he can now Uber to work if he does choose to keep working. He doesn't have to walk. He could buy a car or he could just, you know, live out the rest of his life without having to, to work. But that just makes me so sad, especially the fact that he's a vet and everything. Like, I cannot think of this. Cute. And you donated to this? I did. Well, that's nice of you. I, it pulls at my heartstrings. Yeah. I can't. Like, he's so cute. And I was like, I don't want you pushing carts in the heat. That's so sad. Well, that's good. And now he's, now he's got a good... He yeah, now he has $220,000, so he's good. I should be good. I should look... Never mind. And, no, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin this wonderful yep, story. Let's move on. Okay, move on. B105, Northland's number one for new country and the workday kickoff underway. And we'll pass it off to Joe Danger. He's in next, and he's got that next Tim McGraw flyway code. Mm-hmm. So listen for that. 1020. Lauren, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.